Um, it seems to me that uh, Gundogan becomes more and more crucial to your cause. A um, couple of things on that. Do you have any news on what will happen at the end of the season? And secondly, how important will he be in terms of his experience, his calming influence over the next So month? important. He's so important player. And humanity and, uh, and leading with silence and we have to talk, everybody listen. And this is so important. It's not how many bad times you talk, you know, when you care. A football player, Defined perfectly, so play attacking midfielder is the guy who has a sense of goal and assists. So intelligent in the movement, and every movement you have to do is the right position. Can play holding midfielder. So yeah, the one of the exceptional player in all senses. Incredible remark. I mean, would you like him to stay? I love him. I adore him. Well, yeah, yeah. You have to I'm married, but I adore him. <laughs> Uh, Hi, Pet. Um, there was a friend of yours on the radio after the Arsenal game, um, Noel Gallagher, and he was asked to compare you with Alex Ferguson because you're obviously fighting for three competitions. And his view was that you are already number one, um, not because of what you've won at, at City, but because of the legacy you're leaving behind and the way you've changed English football. Are you aware? Of, of that legacy and, and that, that people you've coached in particular are following the what trying to follow the Always way you I play said, listen the, in our lives and the thing in life for everyone the important is live the momentum day by day if we make them happy against Liverpool at home against Arsenal at home to nominate two top 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 exceptional teams what better than that the legacy will say I said many times if in 10 to 25 years the people in UK in Grand Britain or here in Manchester especially City still remember that period what does happen will be legacy. To know it now, I don't know, honestly. To say, not because a friend of mine and we text quite often and, and he made the first interview when I landed here in Manchester and, and he, I think he played the best band in the last 50 years, so we cannot deny that. What does it mean to us is in the, in the English culture, culture and all around the world. Um, but being, you know, being there for a long time is, is an honor, of course. But about the legacy, the people enjoy today watching us, it's enough. That's why we are here, it's enough. Uh, people who remember in 10, 50 years with a smile, I said, oh, how nice was that period, it's seven, eight, nine years, you know, in that period together. Come on, better than that is the biggest compliment. Better than any trophy, any things you can, you can give. So, uh, when you go to theaters, cinemas, music, music, concerts, you want to have fun, you know, you want to... The moment. And that, I think, manager players cannot forget it. We fight for the title, we cannot forget what, what we give to the others, doing our, the passion or the love, what we have. And this is good, they're really, really good. But there, there is a conversation taking place about where you will be remembered in terms of the, the, you know, the best managers. And there are a lot of people who do think. So I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. So I try to do my job like all the managers. So, but I'm not concerned about uh, about about that. So concern is uh, is uh, live the moments and 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 yeah. Now it's Fulham. So the rest it doesn't matter. So in life, when when it's gone, it's gone. When you pass away, you pass away, and they remember you. Your family close few days, and after it's gone. This is true, no laugh, it's true. It's sad, but it's true. It's sad, but it's true. And when the manager will replace, and yeah, good remembers, but the nice is what you are leave. You know, I, I wouldn't leave my history. I wouldn't, I wouldn't don't give hist leave history for the, you know. When I, I wouldn't leave them, the, what do you leave now? That's why I like to be here, because still we have chance to, you know, to continue to do something, uh, people happy. This is the point. Now I came here to pass to the history. Mystery, what? You are here good when you pass another one with it and move on, and, and that's all. Hi, Peps. So, sort of related to what Simon asked you, you've been here seven years now. It's a long time in, in any job, really, but especially top, top level yeah. management, the pressure. And obviously, I don't know you, but you seem as energetic as ever. Is that because of the new teams that you sort of build, that you evolve? You've got Erling Haaland yeah. this season. Yeah, it something, is that the sort of thing that keeps you? Yeah, it sadly helps, of course. For me, it's important to have new players as well. Yeah, definitely. 
I like I would like to have with the and the players are starting in Barcelona, for example, but they gave it to me. But the time, the, the you know, time goes by. A new player means I have to seduce him. It's a challenge for me as well. You know, it's a challenge to they come to play with us, and I have to. It's a challenge. I cannot delude them. Uh, you know, and and it's part. Yeah, of course. And with regard to Ferguson, I know you're going to be very modest, and that's fair enough. But he he won 13 Premier League titles, an absolute genius. I don't think anyone can de- deny Ooh. that. Ferguson. Oh, sorry. Sir Alex Ferguson. You might have heard of him. Um, you, you've won four. You've won four. You may win a fifth. You may not this season. But have you got any ambition to, if not beat Ferguson, at least you know seven, eight, nine, so I ten? Never ever in my life when I speak as a as a manager. Looks like a farewell of our press conference, like we're talking about. Uh, I'm saying that never, never expect leave what I leave. When I start to fourth division in Barcelona and after promoting the first division, when FC Barcelona, never ever in my life expect to do it. Everything is beyond expected and more than grateful to have lived with the incredible team's players. Uh, this kind of life. The people tomorrow have to finish my career. Now tomorrow, that for my reasons. I cannot ask for anything else. Anything else. It's an aspect is how fortunate and privileged. That's why the people don't like Pep sometimes. Forget. I was so fortunate, I'm sorry. So that is the, the feeling. Being already there, here, so why should I stop, you know? So privileged to be, I said many times, at the end of the season, fighting for the title is the best feeling that we can have, the best feeling. I know we don't win the travel, I know we don't win the title of the Premier League, will be a failure season, it doesn't matter. I we accept that. The important is still we are there and prepared and think, oh guys, final FA Cup and the Premier League is in our hands, in our hands. It doesn't matter what happened in London Emirates, it depends on us. You just look ourselves, perform every single game like we performed the last two, three, four months, do everything and we'll be closer and closer to do something exceptional. We cannot deny winning another Premier League how exceptional exceptional will be. And when you have that depends on us, you can drop it because you are not good, because, but not because you are distracted or you start to listen the wrong messages that is already done. And it's done when it's done. And still it's not done. So my yeah. um, just following up Ken's question about Ilke, um, we've seen some big games recently, and particularly against Arsenal, the flashpoints in the Arsenal game, how much of a calming influence he is. Who? Uh, Ilke. Yeah, good, good one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, influence in the team. Yeah, he's, he's, he's come an influence on the team and those flashpoints and the big games. Yeah. And they're all big games now to the end of the season. Yeah. Yeah. How, how important is his, his experience? And secondly, um, he's, he's had, he, he still, he still wants to win the big one, obviously, the Champions League, as the, as the rest of the players. He's had two near misses. When you look at him in the eyes, can you see that the spark there from the determination to, to, to win the, the, the Champions League? Yeah, and, and, that, and that is... a, a you know, he's having such a fantastic season. You cannot win anything if you not dream it. You cannot win anything if you don't think about it. Oh, I wanna, I wanna do it. Yeah, of course we think about it. All of the times we think about it. Yeah, it's for sure, for sure. About the Ilkay and the experience. So the experience for me doesn't mean what you have done in the past is going to happen in the future. But being there many times that helps. As much time you are in quarterfinals, semifinals, quarterfinals, semifinals, Champions League, whatever gaps, will be closer. As much you play that games, because Barcelona, I remember in our period we played in the last years the finals. They, I remember in the in the channel go to play the final Champions League or so, well, important important games. Faces completely relax, relax. It's about the personality and about it. We have been here how many times? Three, four, five. So Madrid will be not be nervous to play semi final. Have been how many times? I've been there. It's another. We have been there. That means what we want helps us to win again? No. We have to prove it, but it helps. That's why for City, three years in a row, it helps. It doesn't mean we'll be the season. I would love to say yes, but I don't know. But for the next season, we'll help. You know, because it had been three years before. And that is, because what is not important, the club has arrived one year winning, and the years after, no qualify for the Champions League. Group of stage out. No qualify for the Champions League, and the next three, four years they're down. What sense? Ah, you win it once, yeah. But the years after, we're here. 
important is every year being there, being there, qualify, being qualify. The next, I don't know, 10, 11 years, every year Manchester City was in Champions League. This is, a, for me, counts a lot because that will help. One day, it's going to happen. This season, the next, the next, but if you continue, sooner or later it's going to happen. Hopefully this season, of course, we can reach, like two years ago, the final Champions League. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <coughs> Yes. Yeah.